Oh, hello. Welcome. Congratulations. You're joining a rich and diverse community of students, faculty, and staff. Wonderful opportunities await, and we're looking forward to having you here. Even though school doesn't start for several months, there are plenty of things to do and prepare ahead of time. We'll walk you through the main to-dos and let you know where to get additional information and help if you should need it. The key to success is getting organized and developing an action plan. The sooner the better. For your pre-arrival action plan, make sure you take care of final admission details. Refer to your admissions checklist. This will tell you what you have left to do before you do anything else. Make sure to complete your online housing contract with University Housing. The majority of all undergraduate and international students live in these facilities, so you'll fit right in. If you are going to arrive before the University Housing opens, a temporary solution called Interim Housing is usually available beginning in late July. Be aware that Interim Housing does have a per night charge, but it remains open for your arrival 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Once you know where you're living, you've got to get here. Be sure to book your flight early because you've got to get here by the arrival date listed in your notice of admission. Plan to fly to Champaign, Illinois' Willard Airport. Anyone who flies to Chicago must make arrangements to take a bus or train down here to Champaign. Chicago might look close, but it's over 240 kilometers away. If you know where you're living and how you're getting here, the tricky part comes in how you pack for your time as an international student. I've only got one rule for you. Pack light. There are plenty of places to shop for most of the items you'll need while living in a residence hall. And since Champaign-Urbana hosts such a diverse community, it's possible to find foods and most other comforts from home right here in local stores. So what should you pack? Let's break it down into two categories. Your carry-on luggage and your luggage to check. Remember, the luggage you check you won't have access to until you land and collect it at the airport, so you want to carry all of your essential documents with you, either on your person or in your carry-on. These include your passport, immigration forms, and proof of finances, any health-related documents or prescription drugs, ready cash for travel-related expenses in lower denominations, as well as a credit card for other expenses. Make sure you also bring contact information and addresses for housing and international student and scholar services. And I always throw in a change of clothes and a toothbrush in case of delays. That's a good idea. With all that being carried with you on your flight, what do you check? Everything else. Specifically, clothing. But remember, temperatures vary in Illinois from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius in August to 0 to negative 10 degrees Celsius or colder in January. Don't put a cat in your bag. What? <laughs> oh, nothing. What's next? Visas and healthcare. Okay, there are a few different visas to consider when preparing to come to the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., you need to pay your civics fee once you receive your I-20 or DS-2019 and print your receipt. You have to bring that receipt with you to your visa interview. Schedule an appointment of your entry visa application and check the U.S. Embassy or Consulate website for a complete listing of documents to take for your interview. On the day of your interview, be sure to answer any and all questions honestly and concisely. If you're already in the United States, check what status you currently hold. F1 or J1 students should consult their current school about transferring their civics record to the University of Illinois. Students holding any other status should consult with international student and scholar services as soon as possible to find out if they can keep that status or if they must first obtain a new one prior to enrollment. Also, prior to enrollment, and even before you leave, make sure you visit your healthcare provider at home to complete your immunization history form and update your vaccination for travel. Get copies of prescriptions for medicine and glasses. Visit the dentist and have any needed work done before your trip, since it's expensive in the U.S. Illinois has a health center specifically for all students called the McKinley Health Center, staffed with wonderful doctors, nurses, a woman's health clinic, and a pharmacy, as well as the mental health center. All are almost entirely free to students during the semesters they are registered at the university. UI student insurance coverage begins the day you are expected to report to campus, usually one week before classes begin. If you arrive earlier than the date listed on your admissions notice, consider purchasing traveler's insurance to cover the gap. It's a lot more affordable than other insurance plans. Whew, Shirley, we must be done. I don't think they can handle any more info. I don't think I can. 
We've just got to get them prepared for their remote academic advising appointment. So they can use everything we've talked about before and actually take classes. Oh yeah, I guess that's kind of the point. A, a bit. Okay, in order to be a student in the United States, and specifically here at the U of I, there are a few terms to keep in mind. The academic calendar includes a fall semester, which runs August to December, a spring semester, which runs January to May, and two summer terms when classes are offered. International students must be registered as full-time students to be here, which includes a minimum of four courses or 12 credit hours. Each course has a certain number of credit hours associated with it. A full load is generally 15 credit hours per semester. Minimum bachelor's degree requirements vary by college, so see your academic advisor for the specifics in your college and major. Your academic advisor is a professional. In every college, they are there solely to assist you in navigating your course schedule. They exist to help. All courses count in your grade point average unless otherwise noted or taken for a credit slash no credit. You must maintain a minimum of 2.0 grade point average while here, or you can be placed on academic probation and even get kicked out of your college or campus as a whole. That's scary. Yeah. But luckily, you also have a short window to drop classes at the beginning of each semester if they aren't going well. Each student needs to learn the academic integrity guidelines for the campus. You're expected to do your own work. It is, after all, your degree. It is, isn't it? Yep. You've got to make it fit you and your educational needs. We'll get more into your transition into being a student at the University of Illinois next time when we look at how to succeed academically and socially. Finalize your housing plans and book your flight. And remember, you've got to be in Champaign by the arrival date listed in your notice of admission. Pack light and keep all essential documents with you and your carry-on. Get all of your immigration forms set, paying close attention to which kind of visa you need. Make sure all of your medical needs are in order before you come over. Look back over the academic terms in order to prepare for your advising appointment. The key to success is getting organized and developing an action plan. It's a lot of information, but it's all necessary to having a great time at the University of Illinois. Next time, we'll get into life on campus and how to make this an experience you'll love.